What's up everyone, this is Deepak and welcome back to this channel. And whoever is new here, you're most welcome. On this channel, we publish travel vlogs and tutorials like this. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create simple but amazing looking cinematic titles in Premiere Pro. Now, the thing is, there's no specific way of doing it. So what we're gonna do here is, we're gonna create three cinematic titles with variations from very basic to the one where we are using some effect to make it more appealing. So without wasting any more time, let's jump onto Premiere Pro and start editing. So here we are in Premiere Pro and we have a footage here on which we are going to create a text. Now, let me tell you one thing first. We are going to use essential graphics to create and manipulate our text instead of using legacy title. The simple reason is that legacy title is going away soon. So it doesn't make any sense to use that, right? So let's create the text. In order to do that, just hit T key on your keyboard or hit this T icon. Now click on the screen and write your text. Let me type cinematic only. Cinematic. Now, if you see here in essential graphics panel, the text is showing here. Now we can play with it the way we want. So let's make it a little bigger first. So around 180, yeah, it's fine, I think. Now let me make it all caps. Okay. Now I'm going to choose the font, which I like. So here's the thing, guys. I generally use these eight fonts in my videos most of the time. It's very rare when I go with something else because I really love these fonts and they look really epic. So you can try these fonts, but there's a possibility that you won't find all of them in Premiere Pro. So you can simply download them from the internet and use in your videos. So let me go with Baber's new. Okay, it's looking good. Now let's increase the gap. 500 is good. Let me increase the size a little bit more. Make it around, I think 200 should be fine. Now let's bring it into the center using this. It's looking pretty good, right? So let's start it not from the beginning, but after some time. And let's stretch it till here. If you play it, it will come like this. There is nothing fancy in this title. So let's give it a little bit of motion. So what we're going to do is let's hit Control D or Command D on your keyboard to apply the default effect. See here, as soon as I press Command D, it added this cross dissolve in the beginning at the end. I don't know whether it will work for you because I'm not sure whether you have set your default effects because I generally use cross dissolve a lot. That's why I have set it, but it's a shortcut. If you're not using this shortcut, then you can simply drop this cross dissolve onto the front and the end of this text layer. How we're going to do is you already know that probably. So just remove it for now. Come to effects, search for cross dissolve and drop it to the front and the end. So here's the thing guys, if you want to speed up your editing process, then you should learn some keyboard shortcuts. They're very handy. I have compiled some wonderful keyboard shortcuts up there in this video. So whenever you get a chance, just check this video. It will be really helpful for you guys. So now let's get back to the video. So we added this cross dissolve in the beginning at, at the end, but let me just drag it a little more. So that will come smoothly like this. It's good, I think. Now, if we play this, it will come like this. And it goes like this. It's very simple, but it's, it's an appealing effect. So the first one is over. Now let's jump onto the second variation. 
So for that, let me remove this cross dissolve. So what we're going to do here is we are going to use masking in this particular title. So let's do one thing. Let's go to the beginning of this text layer. Then go to effect controls and look for opacity. Here is the opacity. So do you see here this four point polygon mask, polygon, polygon, just click it. Now rearrange it to cover the text. But we don't want to start it from here. Just drag it outside the text, bring it kind of here. Now, if you see here, there is a mask path. So hit the toggle icon to start the mask path. So it's gone, right? But don't worry, just click this mask, it'll be back. So we have started the mask path at this point and our text is not visible. Now let's go few frames ahead kind of like till here i think we should be fine now add a keyframe now the mask is gone again click it now drag the mask on to the text okay now go few keyframes ahead again like till here add on the keyframe don't make any change now come to the end of the text layer and again add a keyframe the mask and move it out now let's play this clip isn't it good but there is one problem actually two problems one is when it's coming and going it's very sharp right if you see here M is going, is going, it's very sharp. We need to add some feather to it. So let's come down to the mask and add feather around 400, you say. I think 400, 600, I think should be good. So now if you play it, see it's very smooth, right? Oh, it looks really good. If you want to slow it down or make it fast, you can do it just bringing the keyframes close or far. So you can adjust it according to your needs, but it looks good, right? Now let's come on to the third one. Now what we need to do is just remove this mask from here. Now what we need to do is we are not going to use just the cinematic text but we are going to use the subtitle as well to this one so let's add another text by hitting this t go there add text let me type what um, subtitle only okay let's change the font let's try with Lucida console okay now make it small I think 100 should be fine bring that gap down now adjust it bring it down kind of here okay it's pretty good now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make an effect like it's coming as a zoom like it's going is scaled into the video so to do that come at the beginning of the clip let me let me hold on let me change the we are still using the same font for the main text let me change that so hold it and let me try with brusher that's my other favorite 
okay this is good let me increase the size a little bit mm, it's too much 220 should be fine bring it to the middle okay this is good bring it a little up okay this is good now let's come to the beginning of the clip and you see here this is scale just hit the toggle icon for that now go few keyframes ahead like till here hit the add keyframe and change it to around 150 now go few keyframes ahead till here add another keyframe and now go till the end of the text layer and hit the reset parameter and now play it See, it looks good right now it's good but we can play with it a little more but what I'm thinking is changing the ending part so remove the keyframes which we added at the end these two keyframes and here we are going to use the mask that we tried in the previous one so just come here now come to opacity and again we're going to add this four point polygon mask so click it again rearrange it and now start the mask path from here from this spot click it now go till the end of this layer hit the add keyframe hit the mask and bring it out now play the video it's coming with zoom and going with this How's it looking? Good. But again, remember what we did last time? We added some feather to make it more smooth. So come here, go to the opacity, to the mask and increase the feather till 600 let's say. And now play it again just to see if it is looking good. And there you go looking amazing isn't it so that's it for this video guys i hope you learned something useful today and if you did i bet you did like comment subscribe to our channel because it makes a big difference for us it motivates us to keep going with this thing and keep providing value to you guys so it's up to you now to like comment and subscribe but before ending this video let me tell you one more thing and that's important we are giving away these titles or you can say motion graphic templates for free through our website. Yes. What you need to do is simply go to this link or you can find this link in the description below as well. After going there, sign up for our monthly newsletter and you will get these titles for free. Now, the benefit of the newsletter is that you're going to get stuff like this for free in the future as well. You're going to get coupons. You're going to get tips and tricks on photography and videography so it's a good deal right therefore sign it today well that's it for today i'll see you in the next one until then bye